I'm back, guys. I missed this so much. Okay, let's go. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Tominze. My name is Tomi, and today we're spilling some tea. Like, I'm not even kidding. I actually brought literal tea. Also, I'm back home in Nigeria, which is why my background is different. You can see my baby picture right above me. Maybe you can, maybe you can't. I don't know. Okay, so, anybody who went to DWC, aka Dwarfman College, or secondary school in general, probably remembers a little thing called Wattpad. Let me start from the very beginning. What is Wattpad? It's a platform for writing books. So you can write them, and you can read them. It's like YouTube, but of books. <laughs> okay, granted, Wattpad has its good points. Or else I wouldn't have spent most of my five years in secondary school reading it. But it also has a lot of cliches and things that tick me off. So this is where I'm here to spill the tea, to tell you the truth about Wattpad. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video if you like my face and you like the videos I've been coming up with lately. And let's just get straight into it. My precious, my lovely. Number one is the bad boy slash player books. No exaggeration, this is actually about 99.999% of the books on Wattpad. It's its own genre at this point. Like they don't even just have a bad boy character. All the titles are just bad boy. Bad boy's girl, bad boy Cupid, bad boy stole my bra. You know? So somehow these bad boys are all happen to be the exact same person. The bad boy starter kit is all black clothes, maybe a white t-shirt once in a while. A bunch of illegal tattoos because they're all in high school. They're in an illegal gang. I don't know what's so attractive about this. Like, you can die. Ooh. Somehow, despite the fact that they never go to school, they're somehow a genius. Secret genius. It's like Lydia from Teen Wolf. Sometimes the bad boy isn't actually even a bad boy. They're just antisocial and like to wear black. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm just confused. Like, to be a bad boy, don't you have to actually, like, do bad things? And Wattpad is the breeding ground of high school stereotypes. It's always the nerd who has a magical makeup loving best friend and is being hunted down by the evil cheerleading blonde queen bee of the school. And they always, always, always go to a party within the first five chapters like, my parents don't even let me go for like friends birthday parties so i don't know how these people's parents let them go for nighttime parties on a school night Psh number two we have the werewolf slash vampire supernatural books these ones really tick me off many of the relationships portrayed in these books are very possessive and very toxic and i'm just like Man, I feel like the only reason why they're wolves is so that you can justify the behavior, the possessive animalistic behavior. Especially in these mate books, it's so disturbing the fact that it's okay for you to kidnap somebody, hold them against their will, all because they're your mate, and somehow they still fall in love with you, and that's supposed to be the happy ending. Like, that's not okay, that's Stockholm syndrome. Number three. Okay, this is probably the most harmless books in Wattpad. And these are the comedy books. They are, no, I'm not gonna lie. Some of my favorite books have been from this genre, the funny comedy section. They're 80% like comebacks and just witty jokes and like 20% actual plot. Most of these comedy books actually have the most amount of diversity. Like on Wattpad, there's like zero diversity. Like, do minorities not exist in the Wattpad universe? Is that not a thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So number four is mental health books. Now this is definitely like on the heavier side of Wattpad. Like you're really trying to raise some awareness on some actual serious mental health problems or fears that people actually have. And I feel like they're well-intentioned, but they often can end up being the most dangerous books. They end up being generic and trying to be like a Tumblr-esque um, kind of feel vibe book and it's just not realistic or fair. Like, I rarely ever see um, these mental health books talking about like boys. Most of the time it's 
girls but i feel like there's always just the male character who comes in to save the day and that just isn't fair why can't they get help from like a therapist or like an adult why is it always the teenage boy so i feel like i need to see more books on wattpad the mental health part that had more like a journey of self to self acceptance or self-growth more of a self journey and less of a love story number five we have fan fiction and i'm really excited to do fan fiction because i didn't actually read any of the wattpad fan fiction except from like after i read after we all read after but um apart from after i didn't really read any other fanfics so i thought i would call in a friend to come help me talk about what she really didn't like about the fanfic part of Wattpad. Her name is Koyano and she's starting a YouTube channel really soon. So when she does, I will link her channel down below. Hey. Hey. All right. I just wanted you to say, what did you really hate about Wattpad fanfic? Yeah. So like, if you check any, if you go on the DDLG part of Wattpad. All the stories about Harry Styles. Like, and there's some really weird why? titles. Like, I remember, I, I never read these books, but I just looked around. And sometimes I would see One Direction adopted me as their, like, slave. And then you fall in love yes, with one. Or One, one Direction good. adopted me. Oh I actually feel bad. And this is not even like, innocent. Like, adoption. This is mature content. So that doesn't give you, like, warnings. You just <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> there's like no book but, left. I love the people that do like write these stories or read these stories. Like twelve year olds, thirteen year olds. Yeah, they're like really young. I'm like, girl. <laughs> like, there is one where oh, it's this teacher student and the teacher. Like that's some pretty little liars kind of stuff right there. It's it's illegal. Don't do it. Don't like, don't do it. Yeah. All right, I think we've spilled most of the tea. Um, yeah. Thank you, Koyana, for being in this video. I appreciate it so much. I will link her social media down below if you want to see more of what she's about. Number s I don't have enough hands because the other one's holding the tea. So number six was the fantasy section. And this is probably the best section on Wattpad. Um, in terms of diversity, not really racially, but species wise. You either build an incredibly really cool world that's like very vivid and real for your like readers, or you build another dystopian repetition, which is basically just another Hunger Games, another Maze Runner, another Divergent, another The Giver. These are all very similar as far as I'm concerned. I know some of you might like them, but very similar dystopian books. Probably some of the best books on Wattpad in terms of like least predictable and less over cliche. See, needless to say, despite all these roasting, Wattpad is an amazing platform for aspiring writers. I know a lot of writers get their work published on there and like that's where they're like discovered. So I thought that if I was going to roast Wattpad, I might as well list a few honorable mentions of authors I think do a really good job on Wattpad. Number one is at Tally Purvis. She wrote the bad Okay, they're bad boy books. <laughs> they used to be bad boy books. Number two, Hepburnette. She writes a bunch of really cool short stories. Number three is Cityscape. And she has this really cool book called 548, which is so beautiful. It's art. Number four is Cinnamon Cherry. And she wrote um, The Kissing Pack. It's really cute and adorable and like really funny. And I just... It's a good book. Number five. At Little Cinnamon. She wrote this book called Hedo Schism. It's very creative. It's very different. Go check it out. Number six is E. Latimer. She wrote The Jotun Chronicles, which is one of the best fantasy books I've read on Wattpad. Very addictive. Very good. Number seven is Rebecca Sky. Her work is some of the most interesting books I've read. And number, I don't know what number we're on anymore, but this one is called At Enter Into My Mind. She's another author that writes these really thought-provoking books. They're very emotional. And the last person we got here is At Authoras. Matisse finished because the video is over. Comment down below if you like these kind of videos. 
you guys thank you so much for the amount of love you sent to my last video and my last video was about um trying out dollar store hair products and it will be in my end card if you'd like to watch it don't forget to comment and subscribe just click the button on my face i love you guys so much i'll see you